heartfelt namaste i anuradha sharda would like to thank all of you for liking our channel and our content today we are going to talk about the entire rashi chart yes the entire rashi chart but before that i would like to thank all of you for listening to the spotify channel and if you want to listen to this video and any other video in the audio format please do subscribe to the spotify channel also and there you can listen to many many videos so today we are going to talk about the entire house and we are going to talk about the rooms of the house that is we are going to talk about the rashi chart and the varga charts also irg has a very beautiful principle about these uh, charts in whole and also the divisional charts so what does he have to say there he says that when you are looking at a particular dasha you need to check the placement of that planet not only in the d1 chart but also in the respective dasha uh, varga charts why do i say this see i will give you two examples with this the first example is that when any of us are going through a dasha antar dasha period in such a case it might so happen that we may be having a lovely personal life but we can be facing certain issues regarding our professional life or we can be having certain issues regarding uh, you know our health area we might our parents might be having certain issues in their health or we could be having certain differences of opinion with our parents also so and that is something that we see that not all areas of life are happy at any given instance then why is it so happening so this is one thing that we need to understand secondly the rashi chart that we have is the house in totality it's our home and the different varga charts are the different types of rooms that we have in our home we can be having a study we definitely have a kitchen we have the washrooms we have the living room we have the bedroom we also have our drawing room so many things that we have in our homes right similarly the chart that we have the d1 chart is our home and the different varga charts represents the d, uh, the d9 is a married life the d10 is a professional life d7 representing our children d12 our parents so on so forth d6 the health issues that we may be facing or d27 uh, more uh, profoundly the health that we are undergoing d30 <clears throat> d24 about our education d20 about our adhyatma or spirituality so many different varga charts that we would be see and when we are undergoing a particular dasha antar dasha in that case how do i understand whether this planet uh, will give us a good result or not some as i just mentioned earlier on that there could be certain area of life that may not be working very well so how do i plot that area out how do i understand what planet is what this planet is doing so we need to see that particular dasha antar dasha planets in all the varga charts when we are able to understand it in all the varga charts in such a case we will see where it is making a where it is under a problematic situation and hence it is not been it's not capable of giving us that kind of results moreover uh, as irg very rightly puts in or rather in irg's own words he says that it is very important to evaluate the meaning of each varga, varga chart with uh, respect to the planets whose dasha and bhukti are running at each period of a person's life so supposing a person is running a venus dasha then one needs to focus in uh, on the position of venus in each varga chart the most important factor is d chart analysis so we have to understand that whether a particular theme of that d chart is going through a good period or a bad period and for that we need to see the placement of the dasha lord the antar dasha if you are more uh, uh, particular on and then finally the pratyantar dasha again 
uh, that as we have discussed in our charts in our prior videos, especially on uh, since we're talking about IRG's dictums, we have discussed it somewhere in our IRG's uh, classical dictums that if the Dasha Lord is in the three, six, eight or 12 houses in the D chart, the chart, the theme may go poorly until and unless there is a Sankhya Yog. Sankhya Yog has been discussed in detail in many of the videos relating to IRG's principles. Do have a look. But before uh, we move on, I'll just give it in brief that there is a pairing of houses, system of pairing of houses, 1, 7, 2, 12, 3, uh, 3 11, uh, 4, 10, 5, 9, 6, 8. So these pairing of houses, when they're planets in the pairs in these houses, they are capable of giving better results. Malefic and benefic, they will decide whether the results will be good, supporting, repressive, opposing, all those things can be decided from those areas. Now, I would... Then having said this, we need to uh, undergo and see how a chart is functioning well. So uh, I had a reading, I had somebody coming in for a reading and that child, uh, for that particular child, that particular period of a Dasha, Mars, was very beautiful. However, in terms of uh, Mars Dasha, in terms of of education in terms of employment was good, but there was health issues. So first let us see the position of Mars in the Dasha chart and Venus also, because it was, as we said, we have to check the Dasha and the Dasha both, okay? So Mars here is in the 10th house in his chart and uh, it is in Taurus sign. So the Lagna is Leo, Mars is the Yoga Karaka, Lord of the fourth house Scorpio and the Lord of the ninth house of Aries. And it is placed in Taurus with Venus, who is the Lord of Taurus. So this is a very strong yoga that this Yoga Karaka is causing, uh, making. It's the ninth Lord in the tenth house with the tenth Lord. So Venus, Mars, combination is extremely strong here and Mars is also Digbali. So giving immense force to this Mars in the D1 chart. Just so that we know the nakshatra, the Mars here is placed in Rigasira nakshatra, its own nakshatra. All the more strength to this Mars in its own dasha, antar dasha, it is capable of giving excellent results. Now, the child has been running the Mars Vimshotri Dasha since 2014 and would continue till 2021. So uh, when asked about his uh, work, he got, now let us, we have to see whether the, uh, whether, whether there is an existing uh, Sankhya Yoga in the D10 chart because he's also got through a good service. He studied well. He did well in his education because um, he did his engineering well because here Mars is again the Lord of the ninth house and in the 10th house. He got a good job after that. He passed with flying colors in his engineering. And Mars, though, is in the sixth house. Again, let me just go back to the Sankhya Yoga because I would all, I, uh, in my readings, I find it very useful. So I found that Mars is in the sixth house. It is, is it strong? Yes, it is again very strong. Why so? Because Mars in the sixth house aspects the Lagna of the D10, which is Aries, which is its own house. So therefore, when the Lagna Lord is aspecting the Lagna or any other planet, that is what Faldipika says, that any other planet, any planet which aspects its own house gives immense strength and protection to that house. So the Lagna is again very strong. So the work ethics of the boy will be very strong. His ability to get job as per his age, his qualifications will also be very strong. But this Mars is in the sixth house. Again, uh, it is said that malefics in 3, 6, 10, 11 are good. During that their period, they will give good results. So this Mars should give good results. But if this result is going to be very prominent, yes, because even though it's in the sixth house, but it has a counter in the eighth house in form of Rahu. 
So there is a balancing, there is a sound cue. So that means as far as job is concerned, there is no problem for him. Again, after some time, the mother did let me know that the boy was facing during a certain period, the boy was facing a lot of issues regarding his health. And again, uh, Venus Mars is again a good period for him. Why? As for the work, because we see in the fourth house, there is sun in the 10th house, there is Venus. So again, there is a sound cube existing. Counter is very strong. So work ethics and everything will be well taken care of if he applies for work. But health wise, there was a problem. How so and why so? So we need to, I just check the D6. So when uh, we, I checked the D6, what I found was that in the D6, uh, this child had, uh, this child went through a lot of problems. Now, in the D6, the Lagna is Virgo. Mars for that particular Lagna is a malefic. And it is in the seventh house. The seventh house is the house of Marek. It's a Marek's time. And the eighth lord in the seventh house does not bode very well for health issues. Venus, which is the lord of the second house and the ninth house also. But if it is sitting in the second house, it gives prominent results of the second house. And it is sitting with the Markesh Jupiter. And Mars aspects this Venus and Jupiter. So Mars becomes very strong and also gives its uh, Markesh property to both Venus and Jupiter. Thereby, there is a very strong chance that the person could be hurting himself during the period of Mars Venus. It could be Venus Dasha, Mars Antar Dasha, or Mars Dasha, Venus Antar Dasha. Wherever there is a window of Mars Venus, there are chances of the child getting hurt time and time again. So that is a period when they should be very, very aware whether to go ahead and uh, you know be careful about the health concerns. And this is exactly the time when during this period, the boy was repeatedly hurt and there was a ligament tear. There was a major operation which told, took toll of his, uh, you know, of time, not just time and resources, but also of his health. So we see that a planet is capable of giving many things, but will it always be very good? That can only be ascertained from that Varga chart about the thing that we are talking about. So if you're talking about a job, the Varga chart, D10 will tell us. If you're talking about uh, education, the D24 will tell us. D9 marriage, D20 uh, for somebody who's wanting to go for a spiritual growth, D7 for children, D12 if you want to see about your parents, and D6 about health and so on, so forth. So this is what we always should remember. Do let us know how you found this video and please don't forget to subscribe, share and like the video. Till we meet with you again, please hit the bell icon for fresh updates. Don't forget to like, share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel.